guys, good morning. On uh, Thursday, welcome to the construction site on this beautiful winter day. Today we have concrete coming for the attic slab and it's the last concrete we're going to need to pump for the house. So pretty exciting and yeah, early morning. So I haven't been filming recently because of uh, frustration with how slow the work is going. But you can see we got the roof on the garage done. It was done last week. The guys did a fantastic job, the Highlanders. And also I ordered a container for trash. So we got rid of all of the trash from here. We got an excavator yesterday just to pick up the bulk. Clear the rest by hand and also most of the uh, broken bricks and concrete pieces and stuff like that it's all inside over there yeah it's gonna be a really cool day and tomorrow I agree with Mr. Wojciech that he's gonna come with an excavator and backfill our foundation so that it's prepared for winter because winter is here already and if really big frost comes up the foundation can crack alrighty guys so you can see the, all of the rebar tied up here and uh, yesterday we did the penetrations or the bigger pieces for the sanitary pipe so they can vent out through the roof there are penetrations in the concrete and then on the front there are some also penetrations for the vents from the bathrooms because we're not building full chimneys we're just going to put a vent pipe so those are that yeah, work is going pretty good. We're going to pour the slab together with the ledge at the same time. So the guys are forming up these little pieces of uh, wood that will go into the concrete. Uh, but then we can uh, drill them out once, uh, once uh, the concrete sets. This will just, uh, you can just drill this out. So there will be little holes every couple of uh, meters on the concrete and uh, not a big problem we're putting plenty of holes in it anyway so yeah work is going pretty good let's uh, catch up before the concrete gets here all right guys the concrete truck is here and the pump is here you can see we ordered a pretty big pump 32 meters and uh, i ordered 38 cubic meters of concrete and uh, we're almost ready the guys are just tying in some uh, some hooks for uh, for the struck for the wooden structure so we don't have to drill uh, anymore next time so that the guys can uh, tie directly to the floor and we're hustling just to finish little things up and we'll soon start pouring concrete Alec is here really cool my favorite operator okay so we got 12 meters of concrete and uh, the pump is uh, prepping up they're dumping the water and uh, Mr. Janos is here too. He's going to check uh, supervised from below. Alrighty, so everything is good with the roof. Mr. Janos checked the roof. He said the tar paper is getting a bit uh, wrinkly, but that's the way it is. This. And we're going to uh, put down the tiles, roof tiles. We'll see if we have to re-nail it or something. But Okay, so the pump operator is up here with us. And we can... Uh, start pouring concrete I hope alrighty so we got a pretty good speed you can see a, a fifth it's poured maybe not all the way but 90% the guys are going to smooth it out and it's going to be good so the pump that they ordered is 36 meters long and we could have taken a 32 meter pump because this reaches the end easily easily but it was just a tiny bit more expensive and I didn't want to risk any more problems issues and stuff like that so I hope this will be easy So the concrete pour is going great. We're on our uh, fourth concrete truck and this is the last one. 
the last 11 meters, so this is about 5 by 10, and uh, yeah, 20 centimeters, that's about 10 meters, and then we'll get into the uh, ledge on the side, so I hope 11 will be enough, plus we got some extra uh, on the middle, there's some bumps, so if anything goes wrong and we run out, we'll just scrape some off and put it where it's missing. Basically, I ordered six meters more than it came out from the 3D project that I calculated. So hopefully this will make up for all the compaction due to vibration, because 32 meters, I assume, 1.1 compaction ratio so that I need to order 10% more and I did order even more than 10% just in case and I think we'll just dump it all in and see how it goes The guys are coming down the ladder to eat breakfast. We just finished uh, pouring concrete. Uh, out of the concrete I ordered uh, three quarters of a meter, 25 of a meter are left in the concrete truck. And some is left in the pump. We have some spots that need filling. Uh, we decided to not pour too much concrete. And uh, the pump is going to fall out a little bit. And that will be also we can, and that little bit we can also uh, use the crane we have to pull it up with a wheelbarrow if we need to fill some spots. But I don't know, it came out pretty good. So we finished pouring concrete and it's slowly starting to snow. I called the rental place. We're going to rent a helicopter or like a mechanical device to smooth out the concrete. Uh, they have it available, so it's really good. This concrete will probably set in the middle of the night sometime, I don't know, maybe in the morning or something, it's hard to say. But yeah, the guys are eating breakfast, the concrete is poured, and we still need to put some anchors in for the roof and straighten out the ones that we tied up in the, in the floor, in the slab, because those got, you know, moved out of shape. But all in all, really good. Okay, so the pump, it uh, folded up, it's washing itself now. I got some receipts for three and a half hours of work. So from 9 till 12.30, uh, because it still needs to wash up, it's a little bit past noon, that's fine. The concrete truck was here at 10 o'clock, so we put the concrete in about two hours. The rest is like auxiliary side stuff, but yeah. Really, really, really cool. Now we have to uh, flatten everything out and make it very nice. Alright guys, let's go take a look what the guys are up to upstairs. They've been smoothing out the concrete. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's a very fun day. It started to snow. So... Snow! And it's dripping concrete from above. Really cool. Let's go take a look. Inspector AJ. Climbing the ladder. That's really cool, the guys are smoothing it out nicely. Let's take the tripod with us. So, yeah, a little bit more work. And Mr. Pablo just went for the helicopter. The helicopter will do the rest of the hard work, but the guys, they just need to get it even. And I don't know if we can helicopter today or if it will be a thing for tomorrow. We'll see. It depends on how fast the concrete will cure. And with this type of weather, it can take a long time. Like we found out on the garage, right? Yeah. 
we'll see how it goes. Anyways, talk to you soon. So the guys down there are cleaning up rebar and us up here, we're uh, working on the anchors for the structure of the roof. Really, really cool. Hey guys, so we set all the anchors in place and the guys are now climbing down from the roof. It's really cold, chilly winds and it was snowing for a bit but the wind is really the worst. But everything is in place and the guys are just moving the final <laughs> footprints on the concrete. And I think it's time to say goodbye. So thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.